everybody, it's me, WF Nanny BC. Well, we pretty much are finally done with the beta, and all I can I can say right now is, I think we got promise. The game is fun. That's the main thing about it. And what was the key the missing factor in Ghost in Advanced Warfare? Was fun. And I'm going to tell you some of the good things about this game. <laughs> For one, that we've got go back. Not not entirely, completely, completely back. Not like Water World, but it's back. And it's so satisfying. With this, with like the specials that actually, you know, allows you to use the go, like the bow and arrow, the grenade launcher, and oh yeah, and the freaking bugs the I don't I don't know what you call that that gun uh, that that one one specialist skill to have I never got that far but I call it the mat the man eating disease thing whatever but it was it's fun all the deaths that actually happen to you and all the kills you get you receive and you give out they all freaking look good and to be honest that's something I'm gonna be looking forward when that game fully comes out. <laughs> what? What else? Oh, yeah, the weapons. We got a whole whack of weapons that actually do good this time. Unlike uh, games like Ghosts and Advanced Wolf, Wolf, not Wolf, not Wolfville, Wolfville. <laughs> Can't speak today. Every weapon pretty much has like is uh able to hang with another weapon so it's just like black ops 2 which a lot of weapons in black ops 2 can actually hang with each other yes there have been some weapons like the ak's uh 74 or whatever or 47 i forgot the name of the ak in the in black ops 2 but besides the point it's almost the same there's a lot of guns that are good and there's some that could probably need a bit more tweaking and I'll just discuss that on my stuff that I don't like and what can be improved video right now this is all positive good stuff and right now the weapons are completely good same as some of the maps like there was full maps in the beta some I didn't like so much like I didn't like Hunter that much in this map but all in all there were no maps I hate like every map was actually uh, really good it had excellent flow so when you play domination you can go on one side of the map to the other it, it felt really good it was nice and also the movement which I can say thank god Treyarch listen to the fans a bit and make the movement mostly boots on the ground because and in retrospect it is it's boots on the ground those <laughs> there's not that many uh jumping all over the place uh really jumping from like up in the air and all that stuff is kind of uh hindrance and actually hinders your experience to be good than actually just staying on the ground but <laughs> that, that in itself, it makes it so maps, well, matches are not chaotic and they actually are fun to play, play on. And the main thing is fun. And Black Ops 3 has that hands down. And I'm hoping that when uh, the full game comes out, we can see more of what they, they have to offer. Because... I can just say that there's a lot of uh, things in this game that we couldn't really uh, got our hands on. We couldn't get our hands on uh, the full gun customization. We couldn't do uh, editing on our emblems. And we didn't have calling calls, which kind of sucked, but I think I know why Triarch didn't want to do that because, well, if they allowed you to have customization of making calling cards, how many penises are we going to be seeing? A lot. And that would just be nasty. <laughs> but, besides that, for, uh, 
seconds. Open the road or anything. I pretty much say I'm actually gonna continue continue actually pre-owning this because it, when I was when I was playing this at at the beginning, well, actually not playing this when I didn't get the beta, I was thinking of canceling my pre-order. But now, like after playing this game, I may actually pay off the whole thing, which in retrospect would be good because I know I'm gonna have friends playing. I'll be playing zombies a lot when the when the full game comes out. I'll be playing multiplayer like a lot. I'm hoping I'll probably get to like tenth prestige. And I don't know, just mm, man, I'm kind of happy because now we finally, finally, most likely we will have a Call of Duty for the next well not well the current gen consoles, not the next gen, the current gen. So I'm extremely looking forward for this game. But as I said before, there is problems with this game that I'm going to address in the next video. So I'm pretty much hoping to actually put my follow-up video to Thunderstruck Gaming. And if Thunder brings it up, awesome. You'll probably see it there. If not, I'll probably upload here. But I'm <laughs> pretty much looking forward for this game come November. I hope I'll see all you guys there too. And have a nice day, guys. I just want to make, make a little video telling you what I liked about this game. And what I hope we're going to see continue coming through the beta to the full game. So anyways, have a nice day, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.